Well, things don't always go right when you're trying new things. And this system here of the, you know, for sprouting seeds or germinating and sprouting them, they, it's not working very good for me. So what I did, I went and returned to my old system I use of just putting some seeds in some paper towels. I can see exactly when they when they germinate. And here I've got my tomatoes, my jalapenos, and my like bell pepper ones. That's what I'll be growing mainly in the greenhouse. Uh, I will try to keep these going, see if anything else pops up. But even what pops up doesn't look that healthy. I'm, I've let it dry out. Uh, see, that's the problem. You can't, like, when you're germinating, you want to keep them wet and moist all the time. But then once they start growing, you don't want to waterlog them. So, you know, it kind of overlaps there between the seeds that are, haven't germinated yet and the ones that are starting to grow. And you can't really do either one of them right. So, like I say, I separate the process here. And I've used this before, hopefully it will work. Even though it's, uh, the other thing has a 10 day head start on it. I have managed to fill all my, all my uh, pots here. And just for general knowledge, uh, one bag of that Pro Mix, 60 pounds, will fill filled all the black pots I've got here and one bag filled all the uh, five gallon cans I've got here so you can see the temperature is over a hundred degrees in here and I have the door wide open now I can't get it much cooler in here just by opening the window to the house uh, and even on the hot days of summer it's you know, no more than 80 degrees in here. And I set up a little workbench and got my tools organized a bit. Uh, but I may wind up just growing spinach on these rows here. I think that, you know, they might just get enough shade to keep them from bolting quite so soon. It'll certainly be easier on my old back than getting down to the ground to cut them off and that's, that's you have to harvest them constantly when they are growing the leaves. One other thing that I've done is I, I went and got my seed potatoes. Well they're technically not certified seed potatoes. At the local place here they didn't they didn't have any of those but they did have potatoes on sale and they're Yukon Golds and they don't look like they're having any problem growing. That's why I got them on sale and they're cheaper than the seed potatoes anyway. Well now a lot of gardeners keep very good notes on when and how plants perform and that sort of thing. Me, yeah, I'm just going to take a video to keep track of these things. Um, dates I think are important like today the 10th and I started those seeds again. And another thing that happened today is the uh, I was able to lift the cover that I had on my potato patch here. It's six feet wide and 40 feet long. And I didn't plant it last year. I just covered it up. And this compost has shrunk down quite a bit, really. Uh, at least the two, maybe three inches. So I'm gonna get in there and till it up again and actually hill it into the middle. because. Uh, well, I want to take at least 18 inches off each side, and then I'll put two, two rows of potatoes going down it. And this is kind of in anticipation of when I get more compost built and the way I'll set up the rows out back there. Uh, but that's way down the road. I've, I've got to really step up my compost system before that happens. It's taking me quite a bit to fill to fill these boxes. Anyway, uh, it did thaw out enough where I could lift the the cover off of it. So that's April 10th, and a lot of it's soft, but I can still feel spots where it's hard down there. So I'll give it a little more time before I 
I'll remove these few weeds I have and and till it one time.